Hello everyone, today we are going to see about uh, numerical solution of ordinary differential equations by a finite difference method. So first we need to know the formula of y i dash can be written as y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 divided by 2 h and y i double dash can be written as y i minus 1 plus y i plus 1 minus 2 y i divided by h square and h can be how to find h means b minus a b is interval upper limit minus lower limit divided by n. Uh, n can be written as b minus a divided by h. So our uh, problem is using the finite decimal method solve uh, for y given the differential equation. The given differential equation is d square y by dx square plus uh, uh, y plus 1 uh, equal to 0 x belongs to 0 comma 1 and the boundary conditions or the boundary conditions x belongs to up to 0 comma 1 and y of 0 equal to uh, y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 1 equal to 0 taking the limit h equal to 1 by 2 and h equal to 1 by 4 so uh, now we are moving to solution uh, the given is uh, the solution dx square divided by dx dx square d square y divided by dx square can be written as y double dash so for d y divided by dx can be written as y dash and d square y divided by dx square can be written as y double dash so uh, y double dash plus y plus 1 equal to 0 and the given is from the question we know that y of 0 is 0 and y of 1 is 0 and here x naught is 0 this can be in the form of y of x naught equal to y naught that means x naught equal to 0 y naught equal to 0 and y of x1 equal to y1 here x1 is 1 and y1 is 0 so first equation will become as we know the form y double dash can be written as y i plus 1 plus y i minus 1 minus 2 y i divided by h square so uh, y i minus 1 plus y i plus 1 uh, minus 2 y i divided by h square plus uh, this can be written as y i plus i as it is and uh, if we simplify means we get uh, the terms of h square and h square divided by h square so if we take a common terms of uh, y i plus 1 as it is here and y i is common means we get uh, this terms uh, uh, y i and this also h square minus 2 y i and plus y i minus 1 plus h square equal to 0 taken as a second equation then uh, now uh, the term case 1 what is our case 1 is h equal to 1 by 2 h equal to 1 by 4 so h equal to 1 by 2 means uh, we have to find the interval so n equal to b minus a divided by h uh, then um, 1 b minus a means nothing but the boundary points of 0 comma 1 so here is uh, 1 minus 0 um, here x belongs to 0 comma 1 and uh, this is a this is b that is b is 1 minus 0 divided by h is 1 by 2 so uh, n equal to 2 so um, substitute h equal to 1 by 2 and i equal to 1 um, in the second equation in this equation means we get uh, y i plus 1 and plus y 1 by 2 square minus 2 uh, power square minus 2 y 1 plus y i minus 1 that means 1 minus 1 instead of i we have to put 1 instead of h we have to put 1 by 2 and if we solve means we get the form of y2 plus 1 by 4 minus 2 mm, y1 plus um, y not uh, 1 plus 1 by 4 so this y not uh, y this uh, uh, y2 we know that uh, here the y2 is 0 and uh, here is y not uh, so this terms are uh, getting 0 and uh, 1 by 4 minus 2 here 1 by 4 here if we simplify means we get the values of uh, minus 7 by 4 y1 plus 0 plus 1 by 4 equal to 0 and uh, minus 7 by 4 y1 equal to minus 1 by 4 and y1 value is 1 by 7 uh, so uh, now the values of x is up to 0 to 1 so the interval is uh, 2 so it contains 2 interval if we split the h value as 1 by 2 means uh, we get the two forms uh, so 0 to uh, how means 0 to 1 so we have to split the interval that is half so here uh, 0 and uh, x value 0 y value also 0 be given in the question because y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 1 is also 0 so I put uh, 0 values and um, if x is 1 by 2 what is the y value is y is 1 by 7 so next we have to move on to case 
to that h is equal to 1 by 4 and now put n equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 1 by 4 n equal to 4 it contains 4 interval x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and 0 and here also 1 up to 0 to 1 here uh, the splitted values of h is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 so we have to split these intervals and we have to find this here x naught here x naught x1 x2 x3 x4 values are given and we have to find the y values and substitute h equal to 1 by 4 and i equal to 1 in the first second equation means we get in, in, instead of that we have to get these values here uh, uh, y2 plus 1 by 16 minus 2 y1 plus y0 plus 1 by 16 equal to 0 and y2 this if we simplify means we get uh, minus 31 by 16 y1 plus y0 equal to minus 1 by 16 this is written in the form of 16 y2 minus 31 y1 equal to y0 is goes to 0 y0 value we know that 0 that is minus 1 so consider this as a third equation and substitute h equal to 1 by 4 in i equal to 2 how many intervals we have to find we have to find the four intervals up to four so instead of three uh, values we have to find that i equal to three how to find how many intervals the intervals less than uh, one value is uh, if it contains four interval the interval less than one value is three so we have to uh, find the values of i equal to three up to intervals less than one so intervals uh, minus interval value minus one uh, so if it is a 4 uh, interval we have to find i equal to 3 up to i equal to 3 so y3 equal to 1 by 16 minus 2 y2 plus y1 plus 1 by 16 where we find this equation means we have to substitute here i equal to um, 1 i equal to 2 and h equal to 1 by 4 so instead of that we substitute means we get the values of this and if we simplify means we get 16 y3 minus 31 y2 plus 16 y1 equal to minus 1 and h equal to 1 by 4 and uh, we get means we get the values of minus 31 y3 plus 16 y2 equal to minus 1 from these uh, consider this as a third equation and fourth equation fifth equation b from the third equation we get that minus 31 y1 equal to minus 1 minus 16 y2 from this we have to find the y1 value is minus 1 minus 16 by y2 uh, y2 divided by minus 31 and from this we get the value of y3 and uh, substitute the values of uh, uh, 6 and 7 in the fourth equation because we have uh, we have we are changing the equation y3 and y2 as in the form of y1 so if we uh, change means we get the form like this and consider this two values are as it is same so we can add so 32 into that value minus 31 y1 y2 um, equal to minus 1 32 divided by uh, uh, if we uh, multiply and uh, divide means we get uh, this minus minus the values are getting cancelled so 32 divided by 31 plus uh, this minus minus getting cancelled 32 into 16 divided by 31 y2 minus uh, um, 31 uh, so we have to equate the denominator so multiply by uh, multiply and divided by 31 so here we get uh, 31 into 31 divided by 31 y2 equal to minus uh, 30 upon uh, equal to minus 1 so if you are moving this is values minus 1 and if you are taking the denominator on this end means we get 32 plus uh, 32 into 16 is 512 y2 minus 961 y2 um, equal to minus 31 so uh, if you are simplify this means we get as the value of y2 uh, minus 449 y2 equal to minus 63 y3 value y2 values minus 63 divided by minus 449 equal to 0 0.1403 one and if we substitute the values of y2 uh, in the for in this equations uh, sixth equation means we get the y1 value so in and uh, we substitute the values of y2 in seventh equation means we get y3 value so our tabular column is x y 0 to 1 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 3 and it is the values of uh, y1 is 0 0.104676 and the y2 value is 0 0.14031 and y3 value is 0 0.104 0.104676 hope you all understand and thank you